It is 8.43 in the morning, and I can't believe it, but everybody is awake. And it looks like they're about ready to go. Now, I'm walking up to the front desk of the Fort Wilderness because, one, the floor in that thing was just dirty. And two, the beds, they basically gave me two sheets for each one of those beds. But there was nothing substantial that keeps anybody warm. And somebody had that thing set to 64 last night. I'm going to go ask for more sheets and get them to see if they can clean that floor because it's disgusting. So I am walking by myself up there so that once they get there, we can just get on the bus and go to the park. I decided to take the bus loop from the front office and I was like, well, you know what? It's still only like 9, 10, 9, 15. Why not just try to take the bus to the back? Well, I got on the bus at 9.23 and it is now 9.29 and we are all the way to the back of the resort where the, uh, the boat dock is. What, seven minutes? It's not bad at all. And I'm actually right in front of, right here is Pioneer Hall where the Hoopty Doo Review is. Now I'm just waiting for everybody down where the, where the boat dock is, which is right behind me where this, this cart is coming up. You can see the water behind him. So I'm just gonna wait for everybody else to get here and I'm just gonna hang out and explore around here. So down here, you can see we are, this is basically a beach. Now you can't go in the water. However, here's the boat dock right here that's gonna take us to the Magic Kingdom in just a little while. And this is where I just came from. The Hoopty Doo Review is right over there. And the Trading Post, which is kind of their little country store, is right here. I actually got off the bus right next to Hoopty Doo Review. I didn't realize where I was until I looked up and I saw Pioneer Hall, which again is right there. I'm over at the trading post. The Hoopty Doo Review is right there in that building on the other side of that big circle right there. The trading post is not open until 10 o'clock and then it's open till 10 p.m. We were told that they have a pin trade that they do at night. And this is where I think a lot of the events are. Here's something fun. This is the guy's bathroom over at the trading post. The magic band sensor is actually disassembled right here. I wonder if it still works. It does. Show you the inner workings of the magic band system. <laughs> While this is what it's supposed to look like. But it says key access required from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. So that's just for at night. But it did blink green. So that means it's functional. Now if you wanted to get a little lay of the land here, here's the settlement trading post. Over here is where the boat dock is. And then taking a little 180 degree turn, this is where the Hoopty Doo Review is and Trails End. And the Circle D Ranch is just slightly past the Hoopty Doo Review. So I'm walking just past Pioneer Hall and bathrooms, there is Tricircle D Ranch right there. So you can walk around, you can view the stables. I'm not sure what time they open in the morning. Let's go find out. It is about 9.45 right now. So just as a point of reference, Tricircle D Ranch, Hoop De Doo Review, this is where I got off the bus. So this is how close I was to everything. So that's a nice little feature there. You're literally getting off right at Trails End. I keep seeing signs that say pretty much everything around here opens at 10 o'clock. Horse rides, carriage rides, the trading post. I mean, I see horses out and people are over there looking. So let's join them. So question answered. You can walk in the stables right now. It does look like it's just kind of open. They don't have the door shut, but the horses are out here and just walking around. Look at the size of this horse. I think it's gigantic. Or maybe I just don't know how big horses are. That guy's a foot taller than I am when he's hunching. <laughs> right here is the Tricircle D Ranch. You can see our horse is staring at me. Hey, Mr. Horse. He's like, I don't know what you're doing over there. And then you can see over here is construction where River Country used to be. And they're building the new DVC resort. So they got the, the land movers and the backhoes and the haulers just moving everything around over there. It looks like they're putting in the sewer system right now. River Country is where I used to go when I was a kid. That was my water park. And when they, they closed it down, I was so upset. <laughs> oh, 
horses are out in the stable right here. Oh, he's walking towards me because he wants me to pet him so bad. But this sign right here says, thank you for not feeding or petting the horses and ponies. Now, there were a couple people over here just a minute ago who were petting and feeding this horse right here. Bless his heart. He's like, I want food and I know you'll give it to me if you don't know the rules. But unfortunately I do, so I'm not going to do that. It is 9.51 right now and my party should be just about arriving on the bus, which is where that little van is right there. That is where the bus is going to be dropping off. So I'm gonna go meet my party. What up, yo? Oh, hi. Hey, you see my picture? Yeah. yeah. Well, do we need the one on the right or the left? Oh, yeah, we need this one, right? Probably the one that Magic came that's, that's the one? I'm yeah. assuming. Well, that's good timing on our part. Yeah. You can have an open stroller. Please take it towards the back of the vessel. That's just a stand suggestion from the captain. And if you're taking pictures or videos of the captain, please do not post that to social media. My wife has no idea that I'm here right now. So we're on the boat on our way to Magic Kingdom. What time is it, Tia? I might put 10 7 Look at good time. Our fast pass just started. We should get there in just a few minutes. Yeah. 